Hi Ravi, hi Naresh. Uh, <clears throat> this is just a, a video response to uh, the preliminary email uh, which I got from you <clears throat> so that I kind of, uh, it's kind of like a trailer, take it like a trailer. Uh, I just want to bounce uh, what thoughts about the innovation lab <clears throat> uh, which I had and uh, I could also see from uh, Ravi's email that uh, even over New Year and Christmas he's uh, trapped uh, <laughs> all kids and uh, you know, getting into child labor, so I guess I'm doomed anyway. So I thought, okay, let me at least, uh, you know, up the ante. <clears throat> and uh, in response to the long email, I'll make a long video and send it back. <clears throat> okay, so uh, first disclaimer is like, uh, don't watch this video if you're driving or if you're shopping with your spouse, uh, because there are some uh, uh, you know, allergic reactions which I'm not responsible to. <clears throat> but other than that, yes, I've tried to answer and uh, a specific queries which uh, both Ravi and you have raised and but uh, yeah the the it's, it's a little it, it definitely is out of the box and it's definitely uh, something which will require a little bit of explanation so <clears throat> first thing is like yes uh, um, watch this like you know if you're cuddling in a bed with a nice story book <clears throat> you know it's more like a story you know uh, rather than uh, like a corporate pitch Okay, <clears throat> so first thing is like, you know, we all love uh, fairy tales. Uh, we've all heard of uh, you know, a very nice little princess, a startup uh, with a very magic uh, warp. <clears throat> and then this uh, young knight, uh, venture capitalist comes down and you know, swoops the lady and they go to a nice big castle and they live happily ever after. We all want to be there. <laughs> uh, and I can also understand why WhatsApp <clears throat> is uh, taken as the... Uh, key goalpost because uh, trust me <clears throat> even for me it really bet because chat application was really it was not really any great innovation it was they were definitely not the first one to come up with it they were already like Microsoft and Skype and G key chat and like hundreds of chat applications before them but just the right timing and the right uh, space and mobile and you know it clicked and uh, suddenly like you know something which we really never thought of an innovation is suddenly the most valued company in the world Okay, so that being said, <clears throat> I know that uh, given our constraints and also that uh, both of you are fairly mature in this industry, uh, just a few uh, point takers is like one, of course, uh, venture capital money is, uh, we all know it's kind of more like gambling, <clears throat> it's more like a poker game. So it's a lot of high risk game. So, and secondly, like most of the startups also seem to be chasing the hype cycle because most of the exits and most of the big valuations today, if you're seeing, uh, coming from Facebook and all that are uh, they're more tracking like you know like even these filters and chats and chat avatars and all that stuff which which is all cool which is all nice uh, but I feel that there are a lot of real hard business problems which are there which uh, unfortunately are not uh, being given right attention to because everybody is chasing this and VC money need not be the only criterion for uh, you know seeing whether truly an innovation is successful or not and even as an innovation model, I know that uh, from GE to uh, uh, Apple to Google, like, you know, if you just uh, <clears throat> do a quick search on the internet, there are the practices, what they follow, the entire cookbooks, how to set up a center, everything is there. Uh, but even then, the success in terms of how many innovations they brought to the market and, uh, you know, whether they've been able to filter it through even their own organizations, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a very great story. And uh, that's that's my first take. <laughs> Since, like, let's take a pause and uh, let's look at the vision. And yes, I will answer as a quick executive summary in terms of uh, you know, what I see as a uh, good model and the best model and something which is really big. Uh, you know, it is the biggest model, but it's also very, very simple. Okay. <clears throat> okay. At this point, let's briefly pause <clears throat> and I'll give you a few seconds. Just tell me out of the top of the head, who do you think is the best innovator you have seen in your life, uh, which you think is uh, you know, truly worth emulating? Okay, uh, let me think, is it Apple or Google or IBM or Microsoft <coughs> uh, or even our own Saravana Bhavan because the way they have uh, innovated the kitchen chains, it's uh, quite remarkable. But uh, in the true sense of thinking outside the box, okay, suppose I tell you that uh, the best innovator, uh, have they made, whoever you've thought about, uh, have they made like 8.7 million unique products? 
do they work in every single corner of the world and each of their product is successful it's not that only a few become unicorns or few become successful every single of the 8.7 unique products are successful and most of the time they don't even need venture capital to work and this innovator is not even sitting inside the box it doesn't even need an office